So I bought this truck for the service bed on it. Um, the owner said that it was running when it was parked. Um, it looked like a pretty good motor that hadn't been messed with. It's still got all the AC stuff on it. And uh, spun the motor over by hand. It spun over freely, but it was tight like it had good compression. So I wanted to give it a test run and see if it would actually start up. I tied into the uh, uh, module over there. I'm hooked up to the starter with the uh, battery cables, obviously. And uh, we're going to give it a test run here. I'm going to hit it again. Might be giving it a little too much, but... Definitely stuck. Acorns. I'm try to get real creative with this. Manifold's in good shape. It sounds like it might have a little bit of an exhaust leak, but maybe that's just the uh, valve train noise back through the carb. But all in all, it sounds pretty damn good. We're going to pull it and uh, keep it instead of scrapping it. So we had really good luck with the carb cleaner. So I rigged up a fuel supply. I'm going to give it a shot and see if it'll run. And I wedged the uh, throttle open a little bit. <laughs> surprised for as long as it was sitting I think the last time it was registered was what's that say yeah 1997 so make a good engine for somebody last video I'm gonna start this thing up and then I'm gonna climb in the cab and see if the clutch has any uh, if the clutch is wore out if it has any slipping it's not gonna go anywhere because the tires are flat but uh, I'll be able to tell if the clutch is, you know, worn out or if it's going to perform for somebody. <laughs>
good sign right there. The clutch will stall the motor out. It's still grabbing. So I got a good feeling about the clutch and transmission too now. Excellent. We're gonna run it completely out of fuel because uh, uh, I don't want that ethanol fuel in the carburetor and uh, get it pulled out and maybe find it a new home. Thanks.